Hi friends, it's Rose here. Wow, we're already one month into 2022. Isn't it scary how quickly the days pass by? I previously said that this devlog would include something related to the story and characters. That was originally the plan, but that will be in the next devlog instead. I ended up being distracted by something else. I did something I didn't expect to do at all. And before I knew it, the month had come to an end. In this devlog, I'm going to explain what this major distraction was. Once upon a time, there was a girl. Her biggest passions were video games and storytelling. She wanted to combine those two passions and make a story-driven RPG game. But with zero budget and zero coding experience, how could she do that? Well, she's doing it. Here it is, Raindrop Chronicles, Roots and Rumours. It's the first episode in an ongoing 2D fantasy RPG video game series about sentient objects trying to find their place in the world. I like posting monthly devlogs because it helps me stay consistent with the game's development. It helps the game progress. In the last few months, I've accomplished a great deal. I owe a lot of that to the monthly devlogs and the desire to show off something new and exciting in them. But it can be very hard to put out consistent, regular content. And I'm going to admit, the last few weeks have been slower than usual. Every month I've always had something really awesome to talk about or show off. And I believe it's important to understand that this will not be the case for every single month. It would be impossible. For the most part, this month has consisted of um, just a lot of research, learning and trial and error. I've been experimenting with something and that is dynamic lighting in Unity. This took a significant amount of time away from the work I was supposed to be doing this month. In all honesty, I had no intention of that happening. I just wanted to have some fun with it and then put it aside for much later in the development process. But it was impossible to not want to immerse myself more deeply into it. After I experimented with it and saw how amazing everything looked visually, this is an example of a nighttime scene in the game. I was really surprised when I saw it. I didn't expect it to look so good and set such a mood. I'm going to run through what exactly I did to create this. I started with a global light and made it dark blue in colour. I added a few point lights of a lighter colour. Here they are. And I added these to make certain areas pop out. But that's not all. The way the lighting falls here doesn't look very natural and realistic, but when I tick this box, it does. Let's uh, go in the scene and move this light and you can see exactly what the difference is. So this is without ticking the box and this is with it ticked. Now for the tray, the lighting falls on the, the tree quite evenly. It still looks like a flat 2D image. Now with it on, it's very different. Like it lights up the top, but not the bottom. And it lights up the middle, but not the left or right sides. It almost looks three dimensional. And the reason for this is because 
I've enabled something called normal maps. Now, a normal map is basically a simplified image of a sprite with a very specific colour palette that allows you to add volume and depth to its surface. I'm still messing around with my normal maps, they aren't quite done yet, so what you see here isn't really the final version, but I really liked the effect um, from just the example uh, normal map that I made. One little post-processing effect I'm really fond of is bloom. It adds such a lovely glow to the scene if you have a have a look here. It's very subtle. This, this is it before and after. That's without it on and this is with it on. Um, it takes a bit of playing around to get it just right. I didn't want it to be too over the top or too obvious. And I think it really makes a, a nice difference. I used something called URP to create these effects. That is short for Universal Render Pipeline. It's pretty good, but there's certain features I would really like that aren't included in it. So I started exploring other ways to make amazing 2D lighting possible in Unity. After some searching, I found this amazing tool called Smart Lighting 2D on the Unity Assets Store. I've only been using it a few days, but I've already been having a lot of fun with it creating some dynamic shadows. It looks extremely messy at the moment, the trees aren't even in the right direction, but I particularly like the shadow of the character, so I'm going to experiment with it more. And just so you know, I'm nowhere close to the final version. Dynamic lighting is an ongoing project that I'm most likely not going to master until the game is close to being released. I recently decided to dedicate a small chapter in each devlog to a story character or world building topic to spark some fun discussions in our Discord. It's possible there will be some devlogs where I don't do this, especially if it's a super busy month, but I'd like to do it as often as I can. In Raindrop Chronicles, the people of Everbloom Forest are experiencing an unforeseen change. They are seeing objects suddenly come to life. They fear these objects could harm their safety and their friends and family. Their comfort zones have been taken away from them. I've bolded the words that link to the central themes of Episode 1, Roots and Rumours. Funnily enough, safety is actually one of the lower levels on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Going by this psychology theory, the characters in this episode can't reach the higher levels on this pyramid, not until they have overcome these base needs. As the story begins, many characters are hiding in their village like frozen rabbits. But don't worry, there's going to be more to them than just that. They will each add something to the story by demonstrating different ways of coping and feeling safe during this sudden change in their lives. Carol copes by hiding and yelling and getting angry when confronted. Nigel copes by standing in silent panic and writing diaries. And Fiona copes by running away. Here are some other ways characters might cope to feel safer. If you think of any more, feel free to comment below or discuss it in the Discord. Don't forget to check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash raindrop RPG. By being a Patreon supporter, you're helping me make my dream come true of continuing to work on this full time and bring the world of Raindrop Chronicles to life. Thank you so much to Fantasia and Mr. Radu for being VIP Patreons this month and my other patrons for believing in me and Raindrop Chronicles. 
I'll be posting YouTube dev diaries every month. They will be the best way to follow the game development journey, so don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. See you next time for February 2022's Devlog Diary. That's my awful attempt at winking. I can't wink. Never known how to actually. Yeah, I won't do that again. It's a bit scary.